Donut Chef by Bob Stacky. Once upon a summer's day, a donut chef was heard to say, On the street where people stop, I'll open up my donut shop. The store is cozy, made of brick. He got it ready super quick. He washed the walls, he swept the floors. He hung a sign above the doors. He stacked his pots, he cleaned his pans, he dusted off the ceiling fans. He grabbed a spoon, then turned a knob, and set the stove to do its job. That donut chef, he worked so hard by mixing flour, sugar, lard. He baked his donuts fresh at dawn, then hoped by noon they'd all be gone. At first one man walked in the store, but then a line snaked out the door. The donuts soon were all the rage, adored by folks of every age. Soon work it out of this success, and to another chef, no less, who said to him, your shop is through when I open up my shop next to you. Indeed, with two shops on the block, both selling donuts round the clock. Well, people asked, you might have guessed, whose donuts are the very best. Two donut shops on one small street, for customers they did compete. He used his donut selling tricks before he closed his doors at six. If one, shop, if one chef dropped his donut cost, the next would add more chocolate frost. If one would scream, buy two, get three, the other yelled, but mine are free. They made new flavors quite bizarre, like cherry frosted lemon bar and peter brick, peanut brickle buttermilk and gooey cocoa moco silk. They tried new shapes beyond just rings. Their donuts were such crazy things. Some were square and some were starry. Some were shaped like calamari. Some were airy, some were coney. Some resembled macaroni. It wasn't long before the sweets looked not at all like donut treats. They lost their taste, they lost their soul. Some even lost their donut hole. The chefs continued with their feud, cooking up more crazy frosted food. Then in walked little Debbie Sue, a teeny girl just barely two. She looked at all the donuts weird, the flavors strange, the toppings smeared. She looked and looked but could not find the one that was her favorite kind. Excuse me, mister, said the tyke, but where's the donut that I like? It isn't here, it isn't there, you think it's under that eclair? Oh, surely, said the chef with grace, your donut's in this donut case. We've donuts laced with kiwi jam and served inside an open clam. Donuts made with huckleberry, don't be scared, they're kind of hairy. And donuts made from spiced rum pears, so popular with millionaires. We've donuts lighter than a wisp, donuts gooey, donuts crisp. Donuts dressed just like a Shriner, donuts major, donuts minor. If you don't have it, you can bet it can't be found, at least not yet. The choice of donuts left her dazed, said Debbie Sue, but I want glazed. The crowd went silent, jaws hung low. A flavor choice from long ago. No one orders donuts glazed, the chef was startled then amazed. A donut glazed at so old time from when donuts cost a dime. Hey, I like glazed, a voice chimed in. Me too, I love them, where they've been. Then all the people sang in praise of simple donuts dipped in glaze. The sh clever chef then got a thought and turned his stove to super hot. Flour, sugar, just a cup, and in a bowl he mixed it up. He let it cook, knew what to do, and ding, the timer chimed on cue. Your donut's ready, Debbie Sue. She popped the donut in the air, and in her mouth it landed there. She chewed it, smiled, and gave a wink. Mmm, there's nothing quite like glaze, I think. The crowd called out and yelled, I'm next. Bought glaze delights by cash and checks. The donut chef, he wrote the line, amazing glaze to store's new sign. Now throngs of people happily wait to buy his donuts by the crate. The donut chef, you never guessed, of all the flavors he did test, that most folks love glaze the best. The end.